Recently reported how rats are on the rise in Las Vegas. Well, neighbors, they are battling rodents in their backyards, but as Darcy Spears now explains, it's a whole different ball game when rats infest a restaurant. And that is the case in tonight's Dirty Dining. I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. Okay. We're here because you guys are on Dirty Dining this week for when you were shut down for the rat infestation. You're laughing. <laughs> Customers might not find it funny that CeCe's Pizza on Charleston and Arville was home to an imminent health hazard, one that caused inspectors to shut the restaurant down October 22nd. The closure came after someone complained to the health district about rats running around in the roof and seeing rat tails hanging down from ceiling vents. We need to talk to the person in charge, whoever's in charge right now. Thank you. Inspectors saw rodent droppings and pest harborage conditions throughout the kitchen, including excessive food debris and buildup, wet floors, and dirty equipment. There were rat feces under the main buffet counter, near the pizza oven, under the sink, next to the fridge, near floor drains, under equipment shelving in the dish machine, and on the base of the fun and games room. There were also numerous open snap traps throughout food prep and wear wash areas causing potential contamination. The restaurant operator told inspectors pest activity was observed from the ceiling approximately a week before and they were working to eradicate it, but they did not report it and did not shut themselves down, which is what health code requires. We have no <laughs> they sent you back out here to say they have no comment. We just we always want to make sure we give the restaurants a chance to talk. No worries. Yeah, no, we were close for closed for cleaning up the rats and all no, the poop they left behind, except for it's documented by the health district that there were rats and rat feces all over the place. Well, unfortunately, we don't really allow recording in the store, so I'm going to have to ask you guys to do that. Okay. After we left, the restaurant emailed a statement saying quality and cleanliness are among our top priorities, and after discovering an issue at this location, we immediately took extensive steps to correct it. We have passed our reinspection with high marks and are open for business. We will remain vigilant in our efforts to maintain our high standards and are committed to creating a safe, family-friendly environment for all our guests. The statement did not address the rats or any of the other violations the health district found. This is the inspector's test swipe from the machine your ice comes from, which was contaminated with yellow slime and debris. The can opener was heavily soiled, but that was nothing compared to the grimy racks in the pizza oven. The dish machine was also heavily soiled with buildup and grime, and inspectors noted a very large amount of white crawling gnats on the sewer grate cover under the sink. CC's reopened October 24th with an 8 demerit A grade. CC's wasn't the only place infested with rats. A family dollar store has been closed since October 22nd due to a rat infestation. And not to be outdone, the roaches were out in force too. Yui Edamai Sushi and Repeat Offender Chicken Now were both shut down for cockroach infestations. Other places where the dining was dirty include Burger Brasserie inside the Paris Hotel Casino on the Strip, Sophia's Pizza on West Sahara, and the City of Las Vegas Detention Center's food service was shut down for excessive demerits. We've got details and photos on them all at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.